I'm going to clean this laundry room. I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to get rid of clutter that doesn't belong in here. I'm going to show you my laundry schedule uh, that has really kind of helped simplify my entire week of laundry. I need to be wearing different clothes to do this project. This is a nice shirt. I need to put on a a shirt that I don't care gets dirty. I'm glad you're here. My name is Erica Lucas and I'm glad you're sharing part of your day with me today. Leave me a comment below with what you're doing while you're watching this video. Are you resting? Are you doing laundry? What are you doing with yourself today? I'm really glad you're here. Let's get started. I decided to tackle it one shelf at a time and just took everything off the shelf and out of the laundry room so that I could be particular and intentional and selective about what I choose to bring back in because I'm in this room every single day and I want to be able to look at a shelf that makes that doesn't bring me stress <laughs> uh, from visual clutter. I want to look at a shelf that feels organized and doesn't feel chaotic and doesn't feel cluttered. I also have a lot of things in here that just gathered here since the last time I did this about a year ago and I want to get those things out of this room and either declutter them, trash them, or put them where they belong into the house, the rest of the house. Okay, so all the stuff from that shelf went here in my bedroom. It connects to our laundry room. So I've got it all here that I can go through it and figure out what I want. Um, from a I'm gonna start with detergent, cause that is staying. So those are my pods that get delivered, my laundry pods. Keep those in here. Oh my, that needs to be cleaned off too. When I'm looking at this, I, I like this here because it's my height without a stool. It's convenient to the washing machine. I don't have to pull it down to get one out. I can just lift it, grab it, and do the laundry. So I like that. And those of you that are wondering, our trash can is in the utility safe because the dog goes in it and eats the trash. So now it's up here. This is, this is one big way that I have simplified laundry, our laundry process and it, in our house over the years is using one detergent for everything. I use one detergent for one pod for a load. Um, for all the kids' clothes, for our bedding, for the dogs' beds, for kitchen towels, bathroom towels, everything gets washed in one detergent. And they're pods, so they're really easy to store. And then I don't have to keep an inventory of multiple laundry pod products. I also ditched the fabric softener and the liquid fabric softener and, li and uh, fabric softener sheets. I ditched those. I use vinegar as a fabric softener and a deodorizer in my washing machine and then everything comes out fine it comes out soft as long as you don't over dry it in the dryer there's no static clean dryer balls. I have three dryer balls in here in my uh, dryer already. I don't really need more than three at a time. So what's in here is really just extra that came with the kit. Now my dog gets them, the kids take them out back. Uh, so, you know, I end up going through dryer balls, but they last a really long time if your dog and your children don't remove them from the laundry room. So I'm keeping it, it seems a little extraneous to have a container for dryer balls, but it matches the detergent one underneath of it and they kind of look nice. So for now, that can stay. 
this is everything I'm donating. I also decided to donate the basket because I'm not using it anyway. Laundry bags, two containers, a basket, this ironing board thing, a wetsuit, and a jacket. And here's where we are. That's way simpler. Just what I need in here. That's pretty great, actually. This is my laundry room pride and joy. It's the only decoration I have in here. Isn't it beautiful? That's maybe something I should uh, also maybe add in here. It's just some, something nice to look at when you're in the laundry room because the walls are bare. There's nothing in here. This is our laundry schedule. Um, I do not do this religiously every single week because sometimes we are away from the house all day unexpectedly and I miss a laundry day. We travel. It doesn't need to be done. But what this does do is keep me honest. <laughs> so if I am just boycotting laundry for a couple of days because I cannot do laundry, I just need a laundry break, then I know what I've missed. And what this also does is keep me on track with the kids' clothes because we have reduced what they have in their drawers available to them. We've donated things. We don't buy as much to replenish their wardrobes as they grow out of it. And so what this does is help me keep track of their pajamas, shirts, pants, underwear, sports stuff. Um, it helps me to make sure that they have clean clothes. The other thing it's also helping me do is that they have a designated laundry day, each one of my three kids. And on their laundry day with me, they are learning how to do their own laundry. They are nine, about to be eight and six. And on their laundry day, they have to bring in the hamper from their room, put it in the washing machine. I give them a laundry pod. We do the little bit of vinegar. They start the load. We set a timer on my phone and then they have to come back and move it over into the dryer. We set a timer. They have to come back and put it away. I do not care if they fold it into their drawers. I do help them organize piles. Um, it just helps them with their own process. All three kids kind of struggle with categorizing pajamas, pants, and underwear. That seems to be a hurdle for all three of my children to be able to make those decisions when organizing something before putting it away in a drawer. So I help them with that part. And by doing that, as we uh, go through each laundry basket that has clothes, by Friday, I have all of the whites. So we pull whites out of each one of my kids' laundry basket, out of my laundry basket that I share with my husband. And then by Friday, I have a pile of whites that can all be done together, everybody's whites. I just don't have enough whites for you know, laundry for a load for each different person. So I do all the whites together. I only do laundry on the weekends if I need to play catch up. So uh, that's for our bedding, which I don't do every week, I do every other week. And then throw blankets, kitchen towels, I usually have to do kitchen towels every week. Um, Tablecloths, cleaning cloths, anything for the dog, and then anything that didn't get done during the week that needs to get done. Uh, I I hand wrote in um, I hand wrote this chart for myself because my my kids kept running out of stuff before I could pay attention to what was in the laundry room. I used to centralize everything into one laundry basket and just do a load or two a day. When I mapped it out, I realized the load or two a day didn't get it done, which is why I always felt behind with laundry and why my kids would run out of clean underwear or clean pajamas because I wasn't paying attention to to the depletion in their drawers. Um, I didn't have a regular schedule that dictated that to me. So this made it easier for me to keep track of what we have. And by doing that, I was also able to group things together so that, um, you know, I wasn't just washing a couple of shirts for sports. It got washed, it, their sports shirts get washed every single week with their regular clothes now. Um, so I actually ended up with less laundry because on Mondays and um, on Mondays, if I can combine two kids together, I will. If there's just not enough to constitute one load of laundry, then we'll pull two kids loads together. And then that's two days of laundry in one load. Um, I, I do bedding separate from their clothes and they do that as well. They have to strip their beds, bring in their sheets and their blankets. And we also do that every other week. So this ended up helping me remember certain things that were getting neglected. It also 
um, helped me actually like writing it down helped me figure out a way to simplify laundry and do less laundry <laughs> because I can pull in their coats and their sports shirts, um, their pillowcases if I feel like it needs oh, an extra wash. Um, I can pull all of that in with their clothes and now I'm, I'm not doing multiple loads or having dirty pillowcases or dirty coats. It's all getting an intent. It's all having a focus, attention, intentionally one day a week where I check, okay, does, does, does this coat need to be washed? No, it's fine. Did their sheets get washed last week? No, we gotta wash sheets this week. Um, so yeah, basically it makes sure I'm thinking about what needs to happen. And as a result, it's really helped me make sure that as a result, I don't have piles in the laundry room floor anymore, which is pretty awesome for me because I have always had that. <laughs> And when we travel, there's piles in here. If I don't feel like doing laundry for a week, there are piles in here. It just happens. That's life with a family of five and a dog. You just end up with dirty laundry piles. Um, but this helps keep me honest, basically, and helps make sure that I get everything done. Okay, so today is Tuesday when you're watching this. Uh, it's Rebecca's clothes, her coat, and her black karate shirt, sheets, blankets, and uh, dark clothes for me and my husband. So that is two to three loads that I would do because I would do bedding separate for her. Uh, I know that she has a pile of clothes in that hamper that she needs to get done today. <laughs> this is a basket next to our washer. This is for me and my husband. And on Tuesdays, that starts the laundry cycle for me and him. And I will pull out all the darks. I will leave the colors because that's not until tomorrow. And I will pull out the whites as well. During the week, I throw the whites behind the door so that on Friday, all of my whites are right there ready for laundry. Is it great? No. Does it look great? No. Who comes in this laundry room? Me, the husband, the kids. Like, it's not a big deal. Um, this is not something well, I just showed like 10,000 people in this video, but anyway, <laughs> it's fine. I have been considering uh, another basket just for whites but my process is to just organize it through the week with each laundry load of clothes and just throw them behind the door does it work absolutely has it worked now for a while sure has do i want to spend money on a basket nope and uh form before function before form <laughs> is it functioning yes is it beautiful absolutely not does it need to be probably not okay i'm, I'm i gotta do this now put a splash less than a quarter cup of vinegar in the softener area and then one pod for about that amount of clothes thank you for watching sharing part of your day with me today i have shared 23 things that i'm simplifying in my life this year 2023 i've shared that video i will link it here for you i think you might like that next have a great day